Hello out there. My name is Eric from Perspective Gaming, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. When last we left off, May had made it back home from college under kind of mysterious circumstances. We went out and met our friends, who are all kind of busy these days, and we found an arm on the ground. So, let's keep going and find out what's happened. Oh, also we left off. My computer appeared to have certain malware that you get from a certain activity on it. So let's keep moving. I've forgotten the controls. Ugh, I've never liked this bird. That's not very nice. What did the bird ever do to you? Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hi. Gotta go talk to our mom. Morning, mom. Nope, I'm mom 24 hours a day. Har, har, har. Also, it's 4 p.m., sweetie. Which appears to be about correct on the clock there, actually. Well, I'm off to find Angus. Oh, is he your little friend Greg's boyfriend? Big guy, kind of quiet. Yeah, that's him. I need him to fix my laptop. Well, he better, sweetie. You can't afford to buy a new one. Wait, do you even know Angus? Do you? Kinda? Well, no time like present. Thanks, 24-hour mom. Seven days a week. Got a call from your Aunt Molly. Ugh, what did Aunt Mall Cop want? Sweetie, I really wish you wouldn't call her that. She worked very hard to get where she is. And it's a dangerous job. Oh yeah, Possum Springs is so dangerous. Anyway, did she tell you about the severed arm we found? She did, in fact. Scary things. Yeah, I guess. Honey, I know this is home, but please be careful out there. I will, Mom. And come home before dark unless you're with somebody. At least until they figure out what happened. Okay. Thanks, sweetie. Keep talking to mom. Never stop talking to mom. So, honey. Yeah? What did the arm look like? It was cut off right above the elbow. Was there blood and stuff? A little bit, little bit. I wonder whose arm it is. I'm starting to put on an accent because I think I'm thinking of the Jacksepticeye play and I'm turning Irish. Well, it should be pretty easy to spot. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what happened to your arm? I dropped it by the diner. Here, sir, I found your arm. Thanks, I was afraid I'd never see it again. People don't always return arms when they find them. It's a real shame. It's a cold world. Cold, cold world, sweetie. No more talking to mom. On to adventure. Away! Hey, you kid. Adults? So you're back, eh? Yes, Mr. Penderson. Didn't last long, eh? No, Mr. Penderson. You get a job yet? I've only been back for like 24 hours. Soon it'll be only a week, then a month, then your whole life. You're right, I have so much time left. No one's forgetting who you are and what you did, you know. They may act like they have, but that's just small town polite right there. Is that what it is? Small town polite's all you've got, kid. So watch it. Well, that was really interesting. But I need to go listen to my cells die. Ah! Ah! Oh gosh, I was doing a weird voice for Selmers. What's it like being back? Well, I just got home, so just like taking it all in. Feel like anything's changed? That bird has really red eyes. He's either been swimming in a pool or maybe is on drugs. Um, 
Yeah, totally. Park store's gone. Got a snack falcon now. Food donkey's gone. Got a ham panther, though. The Harleys are bigger now. Saw them running around before. Yeah, I babysit those little shits sometimes. Are they bad? They seem so nice. That's how they fool you. You know, they steal things. What? They steal things. Holy crap, I was fooled. Wee the leaves. Hi there, red eyes. Are you gonna go haunt someone and kill them? Damn, 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 damn. This is my property. Yeah, but it's my street. You ain't changed since cha you ain't changed since you was a kid. One, two, three. Nope, nothing up here yet. So, we are back, just sort of exploring our hometown after sort of two years or so. And things are just a little bit different. It's honestly really surprising how much things can change in just a couple of years. Um, I was out of state as well for my master's degree, and a lot of it's the same, but definitely there's stuff you're like, wow, that store's closed, huh? Ghosts. <laughs> it's a really surreal feeling coming back home. It's very unfamiliar, even though it's the same. So it can be, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's an interesting sensation this game is trying to capture. These are all the same. I'm assuming this is still cut off. Yes, and there's no way up there. So let's keep moving. Oh, she's gone today. So yeah, if you just take the the main roads like this, the game can actually move pretty quick. Um, you aren't talking to everyone, and you can see like there's not many people to talk to today because we kind of did it all yesterday. But if you go back and you take the time to explore around, you can find all sorts of new things. Pale white tunnel fish. Easy to catch and so delish. That's good. Oh god, you were listening. You just find new things that you maybe haven't interacted with before. Oh, hello, May. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa? Hmm, I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day after you were born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, eh? How did you know Granddad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime and I'll tell you all about him. Things you might not know. All right, if you've got my interest. Sweet, curious child. That's all we can say to Miss Rosa for today. It's easy to miss things. This music is just so vibable. I love it. Someone has the the full origi you know, original soundtrack to this game up on YouTube, and I'm fairly certain I actually own it, but I'd have to double check. Um, and honestly, I put that YouTube music on sometimes just to work on papers when I was at university uh, just so that I could I had some just really chill music to think while I was working on it so here's an oddity about the game if you remember that he said Angus said yesterday he works at the video outpost to yesterday in game a week ago for you guys he works at the video outpost too, but if you go there right away, he's actually not here. I'm not sure what the choice was there, but it's interesting. And that way, if you remember, or if you just explore, you get to meet this person. 
Can I help you? I don't think so. Eh, nothing to say yet. I guess you meet them anyway. It's just kind of an odd moment. Which is fine. It's fine to have interesting little moments where you just interact a little differently. Better take shelter. Here come the smelters. No use hiding. Smelters will find you. So we need to go talk to Greg and learn where Angus works, even though I already remember. But, as always, I just want to explore around in case I've forgotten anything. I just want my computer. I need the internet. This is more important than whatever's out there. Little bushes. Love them. Alright, let's go say hi to Greg and see if I can keep up a horrible voice I shouldn't have done. Hey, May. Got cups on my ears. Wow. Or why? Wow! Sounds like the ocean in here. That's great, dude. You seen Angus? Every night! Yeah, I mean, like, where is Angus right now? At work, the video, the video store. What do you want Angus for? Got computer problems. Figured he might know a thing or two. He's a hacker. Really? I'm pretty sure he hacks. Wow. Cool dude. I'll catch you. Cool. Is that cool dude or cool dude? Cool dude? Cool dude. I'll catch you later. It's infectious. I'm turning into a Greg. Catch you later. Definitely. I'm so glad you're back. So that arm, huh? Jeez, yeah. What the hell? What do you think happened? I don't know. How does an arm end up on the sidewalk? In Possum Springs? I mean, kind of cool, but creepy. And like two doors from our apartment. You live in a town, you live in Towny Century now? Yeah, we live next door. Haha, <laughs> man, you've been away for a long time. I have. You up for hanging out later? So much to chat, catch up on. Nah, I got dinner with the family. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? A friendly thing. Six o'clock yet? And he just says that forever. I remember that. So we meander on over this way. Whee! Can I help you? Where's Angus? He works day shift? It is day? I got here early? Wait, why does everything you say sound like a question? You do the same thing? I just didn't comment on it? Really? Yeah? Huh. Night shift, huh? That's cool. I'm at home with my baby during the day, until my mom gets back from work. Ew, babies. Pretty cool job, though. Get to watch movies, eat candy, meet cute guys. Ew, cute guys. What's wrong with guys? I don't know, cute guys are overrated. Hard to break, hard to break, hard to break. Music, music. I'm assuming that's singing a song about a heartbreak? I don't know, man. All right, got a ring on for permission. What, there's no button? Hmm, there's got to be some way to make this work. Tap, 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 tap. Just keep pushing it until it works. Click. Hello? 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 You're not Angus. Who is this? Who are you? May Borowski? What are you selling? Do you get a lot of people selling stuff? Hello? Click. Can you call this person back? I'm, no, apparently not. Click. Yes. Uh, hi, Angus. Angus, you say? Dude, it's May. Tell me about yourself, Maybelline. This isn't Angus. Would you like it to be? Nope, bye. Click. Horrifying. Ardoline. Eh? Click. 
Maurice? May. Angus? May? Yeah. You're not Angus. And you ain't Maurice! Well, I'm glad we sorted that out. Click. Click. Hello, Angus? Are you searching, my child? Yeah, for Angus. You can search all you like for your Angus. Everyone has a different Angus. For some, Angus is a happy marriage. For some, a good career. For some, a fancy car. My Angus is a guy named Angus. Lives here? My child, no Angus will ever compare to the one true Angus, the Lord God above. Okay. Dear, have you encountered Angus this day? <laughs> Look, my mom works at the church. I'm in the club by default. Click. I've known a few of those people and they're awful. <laughs> Click. Hello? Hello? Hello. I'm looking for Angus. Any idea where Angus lives? I believe he's at number two. Written on the button, I think. It looks, uh, broken. I think the little guy lives he lives with kicked it in. Greg? Or something. How? Beats me, kid. I just live here. Click. So, having done this before, I don't need to puzzle over it. Ouch. Click. Hello? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who's this? It's May. May? Yeah, May. I just got electrocuted. Oh, yeah, it's fiddly. There's no button. Yeah, you can still like stick a screwdriver in and well, it's it's too late now. Uh c come on up. Click. That was fast. That was frighteningly fast for that elevator to descend. Whoa, come right in. Hey, dude. Uh, welcome to our apartment. I could have been in my underwear. Hey, dude, don't wear pants on my account. I stand by that statement. Don't feel obligated to wear pants on my account, man. I don't care. Why was the door unlocked? Greg always forgets to lock it. Greg's at work if you're looking for Greg. I was actually looking for you. My laptop is messed up, and I thought... What's wrong with it? Lots of things pop up when I turn it on. What kind of things? <laughs> you know things about things, not for kids things. Why didn't you bring it with you? I forgot it. Hmm. You know, May, you don't have to be embarrassed about. I'm not. I mean, everyone. I know. Hmm, let's see what I can do. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I got something for you. Plug this into any USB port and restart. Should clear you right up. Might delete some of your old files, though. Wow, thanks, dude. No problem. Gonna head on home. See if your magic works. It's not magic. It's just ones and zeros. And we're just atoms. And our perception of reality is just chemical reactions. Take those away and poof, there goes the universe. Whoa. Sorry. I'm gonna go. Hey, Dadders. Why, if it isn't the mayor of Possum Springs herself. What did you get up to today? Hung out with Angus a bit. You remember him? Oh, yeah. Look like, like Angus. He's smart. In the old days, I used to work with his dad. I know they fell on some hard times after we all got laid off. Used to see him at the bar. Yeah. After I stopped drinking, I didn't really see him as much. I wonder how he is. They find out anything about that arm? Not that I heard. Huh. Well, be careful out there. Maybe I should carry mace or brass knuckles or something. Well, it'd be a shame if you got into trouble and were unarmed. Nah, I think I'll be okay. What? <laughs> okay, I get it. Unarmed. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. 
Good night, Mayor. Ki Good night, Mayor Kitten. Good night. Still can't do the next. Okay, whatever. We'll get to it when we get to it. Away! Nothing to look at here. Hiya! 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 Moving real quick today. Let's see if this Angus fix works. Can't get any worse, at least. Guess it could be on fire. Anyway. OMG, it's fixed! I guess it turned out okay then, your computer. Yeah, it did, thanks. I put something else on that drive. Do you remember Demon Tower? Oh wow, yeah, I used to play that all the time like 10 years ago. I've been playing again, they kept updating it. You can grab your old save game from the server and start right where you left off. Ooh, cool. You should check it out and we can talk Demon Tower sometime. It's really cool still. I am deaf doing this. Aw, thanks, Angus. Tip's hat. Hey, you got that porn off your laptop? I heard you broke it with so much porn. Dude, you know it. Rick Wreckage told me that before the internet, they'd hide porn in a hollow log in the woods. Yeah, that was a thing, right? Be awkward if you were hiking out in the porn log, and some dude was already there, and you're like, Sup, dude. Guess we're both here for the porn. I bet that happened. I knew, no, it did. I bet they became friends. Porn log bros forever. So, dude, you come to the party tomorrow night, right? What party? Up in the state forest. Lots of people from school and stuff this weekend. Cool people. The big fire, the snacks, the beers. Curl, you know I will. Or did you mean to write snacks or snakes? Both, dude. Both. Cool. Well, if you can, you can, uh, well, you should ask B if she can drive us. What? No, I don't think she likes me. Nah, dude, she's cool. She drives us all the time and lets us borrow her car. Stop by our store tomorrow and ask, okay? Please? Okay, whatever. Yay! So, I one of the side things I will not be doing in this playthrough is Demon Tower. I'm not super good at it, and it takes a while to get through. So I'm just going to not focus on the Demon Tower stuff. If you want to figure that out on your own, you can buy the game and give the creators some cash. Or probably do a look. Someone else has probably done it online, but you know, play fair. But let's uh, let's examine the computer here for a little bit. <laughs> Bright Harbor Gazette: Secretary of Education having public schools is like having public hamburgers. That's insane. Everyone should buy their own hamburgers. Welcome to my life. Away message. Born to lose. Country trash proud. Drummer. Skate and destroy. Skate to create. Bound for glory. So this is another one of those things that may not be super clear. Um, each of these pictures is a chat dialogue you have with one of your friends so you've got b and greg and angus and this one that's always an away message and that is i already forgot his name but the guy who disappeared and i never quite figured that one out um it took me f like basically to the end of the game last time to figure out that this is our disappeared runaway friend so just something to bear in mind again I uh, got nothing new to play on the base. Bop. Sleep. Uh, hello? There we go. All right, let's get going. But now we can check our computer every day and get some updates. Oh, by the way, B works the old pickaxe, so you can go there. Get some tools, lol. Big axe and go on a rampage, lol. Back to school tips. Cover textbooks in tin foil. Just do it! 
<laughs> Sharkle and his laugh of nightmares. Okay. Making sure I did, in fact, do that. Let's keep going. Home again, where the people know my name, and my mom's name, and my dad's name, and about the time I put that kid in the hospital. Hey, bird, I'm home. Morning, Mom. All day, Mom. Every day, Mom. What are you up to today? Greg and Angus and B are going to a party, so I might go out with them. A party, huh? Look at you. Back two days already, the social butterfly. I'd man him over. Let's be honest with Mom. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Oh, you'll be fine, sweetie. Get out there and mingle. Actually, I think it's mostly going to be old high school people. I wonder if Cole will be there. I always thought you two were so cute together. Mom, no. Oh, sorry, honey. I don't know oh, the subject was still a sensitive one. I totally improvised that line, basically. It's not. Okay, well, you go out there and have a nice time, honey. I will. See you later. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Whee! So what are you guys thinking so far? Anything you've noticed? Anything that's worth mentioning or questioning? Or anything you might be starting to, to put a pattern together? So what are you up to these days? Um, crashing here until I get back in my own place. Parents rented out the half of the place to Mr. Chazikov. I've been babysitting, interviewed at Ham Panther, waiting to hear back. Oh, my dad works at Ham Panther now. They've got everything. I forget how little the game has at the early stages. If we don't start getting business in here, there aren't going to be, there isn't going, going to be a Possum Springs. So we gotta do whatever we can do to get the market to notice us. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Yeah, so we allocate funds to preserve the statue of... Gary, you're not hearing me. Don't tell me I'm not hearing you, Andrew. Not of sufficient historical note. Your ass is not su of sufficient historical note. Guys, guys, stop this. This is the spotlight fight all over again. Oh yeah, and remember who won that one? Can we move on? Fine. Fine. What do you think that was about? I can legally shoot you for being up here, you know. <laughs> You'd never. I used to babysit your cat. Eh. Cute. Squirrel, hello. Look at this. What you doing up there? Streetlight got tore off in the big storm a few days back. Don't help that idiot keep tell, idiots keep jumping on it. That's a shame. Spread the word to the other kids. Adults. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. Adults got jobs and better things to do anyway. Ah. Anyway, you just tell those other kids to lay off. Gonna get themselves or somebody else killed. You know when they're fixing the steps? I desperately need to get to church. Tomorrow, I think. The vampires can't go on sacred ground. I ain't seen no vampires around here. Except maybe the government. Sucking us dry. You've taken over my vampire story. I'm leaving. <laughs> Watch out from bloodsuckers, kid. Adults! God, I love the writing in this game. Anything to do around here? Well, getting on the board's cold comfort. 
I'm just always on edge. You may see someone to talk about this. Dr. Hank? Ugh. Dr. Hank does everything and nothing. He fixed my leg last year. He's treated my babies through chicken pox and strep. I know. I just... Whatever. Coffee. Cigarettes. Coffee. I won't. No. Resist. Resist. Resist the urge to loop. Coffee. There's the old pickaxe. Not going there yet. Because that would progress things. And we aren't moving fast. Let's go this way and then wrap back through the sewers. The sewers. The, the underground. Hey, May. How's the laptop running? Really good, thanks so much. Glad to be of service. So, like, yeah? Who rents movies anymore? More people than you'd think. Older people who don't know any better. Kids who for some reason can't get something. Do you ever want to tell them? What, about the internet? About rental by mail? Yeah. May, it's not my job to save them. I'm paid to stand here, assist when needed, take their money, and not openly judge them. So this party tonight, huh? Yeah, it should be fun. I hadn't pegged you as a party person. I'm not really, but parties with Greg are different. How so? You know how you want to just go and stand in a corner sometimes? Yeah. Greg's my corner. Oh, <laughs> Shut up. That is the best line of dialogue, like, ever. See you later. For sure. I love that line of dialogue. He's such a beautiful romantic in the silliest way. Hey there. <clears throat> uh, hey, who are you? Wags. Uh, okay, hello. What are you? Oh, wait, there's a sign. Navy, huh? Yes, ma'am. You ever considered a future in the Navy? Like boats? It's a lot more than that, but yes, there are boats. Probably not joining the Navy. Can I drive Can I drive a submarine? Potentially. Eh, I can do that on my own. Later. You know, I don't want to intrude. But if you're someone who's maybe lacking a bit of direction, that's what brings a lot of folks to the Navy. Yeah, but I have lots of direction. Like, I'm going to hang out with friends. Play bass. Play video games. Go to sleep. Etc. Wow, you don't usually see etc. written out in full. I guess I'm adding drive a submarine to that list somewhere. Well, just saying. I'm gonna go now. All right, have a good one. Are you like from around here? Nearby, used to be anyway. Is this like a thing they make you do? Like why aren't you on a battleship or something? Every job's important. This is just my job right now. Have you been places? I've been all over the world. See any sharks? I've seen sharks, yes. Big ones? Pretty big, pretty big. When you're done doing your pitch, when you're doing your pitch, you should leave with the sharks. Noted. Or like instead of the Navy doing Navy stuff, you make the entire thing about sharks? Shark diving, shark watching, shark riding. Are you writing this down? I'll send it up the chain. I don't know how many people have done job searches on things online like Indeed, but it used to be flush with military promotions that were, you know, that same thing he's doing just in digital form where they were trying to get people excited to join the military. Smelters, smelters, coming for you. What you're going to do, what you're going to do. I can't go into their apartment again, can I? I mean, I shouldn't be able to. Yeah, no, it's, it's closed. Okay. Can't go in here. No, no. Gotta go say hi to Greg. Party! 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 Jeez, dude, what are you excited about this party? You're gonna be there! That's awesome! God, what a, what a great week it's been. You're ha! <laughs> I'm home. My arms are tired. <laughs> Fruit ghosts, snakeums, swoop in for a bite. I want some fruit go fruits ghost. 
snack to school. Anything over here? Almost certainly not, but we always do our little check. I'm not hanging out to the edge of town today. Got stuff to do. So, one thing you're probably noticing at this point as we're meandering back towards the plot is that a major, major part of this game is that everything in this little town of Possum Springs is worn down. It's old. It's falling apart, even. Um, economic distress, everyone's having a hard time. So think, of, you know, keep that in mind as you continue to think about what this game's saying, what you can take away from it. Why is it that it takes place in this rundown, economically poor off rural town? Hey kids. Hey adult. Well, I was your age only a few years ago. Uh huh. We'll see you later. No Miss Rosa today. No fishing man either. So I mentioned in the first episode that generally you progress this game by moving left instead of by moving right, which is the opposite of how we read in both English and Japanese, which is where a lot of those platformer games originate. So, in general, this is, you can see this in films and stuff too, I, I hear it's very prominent in Star Wars if you're looking for it. Heroes tend to face right because they're moving forward, they're progressing, they are move, there's movement, they're moving towards something. So, when we're going left, May is moving back. She's tried to get home. Uh, from where she used to... Did I say party barn last time? Whatever, not important. Um, she's moving backwards. She's moved back home. She's trying to reach out to her past. Interesting stuff. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, Bill, write it up as, as on the clock. She's not gonna like that. I don't care if she doesn't like it. It was her fault, plain and simple. That is time extra. We charge for that. All right, then. Hey, B. What was all that? Hey, B. Hi. How's work? Stressful. End of the month coming up. I have to start ordering in winter stuff. Which means I have to bribe one or hopefully two of the guys to unload the trucks. Because I'm not carrying in a truck of rocks sold by myself. Huh? What do you want? Well, Greg asked me to ask you if we would drive us to the party tonight. You know, the one up in State Park? Thanks for clarifying. Otherwise, I might have been confused as to which of the dozens of parties going down on any given night in Possum Springs you were referring to. Are you being sarcastic? I'll drive. Great, thanks. We'll be by your house around 8.30. Be ready or we'll go without you. Okay? Don't get lost on your way home. I don't know. I have. I, I don't know where I live. Ah, help! I know where I live. No, seriously, go home and get ready. All right, all right. Jeez. B. Beatrice Santello. Maybe. And away we go. So, a question to those of you who aren't, who haven't played this game before or seen it, those of you that are out there, what's up with B? Why, why do you think? What do you think? She always seems kind of upset around us. Do you think there's a reason? I mean, there's obviously a reason, otherwise I wouldn't be asking, but what do you think so far? Hey, May. What? I was just stopping by to see how you were doing. Why? After the other night, I mean. Why wouldn't I be fine? 
May a lot of things happen around here. Sometimes in town, sometimes out by the tracks, sometimes up in the hills. What? It's my job to make sure folks like you never see something like what you saw the other night. Well, then you're not doing a very good job of it. Better than you might think. Yeah, there's millions of arms. <laughs> She's cleaning them constantly. I've been back less than three days and I already saw dead body parts. Which wasn't a big deal, but... You didn't see Tom Jennings shoot his brother in the stomach. Last night out in Dar Dottie Line Road, out past Arner. You didn't have to walk out into that cornfield. Jeez. You're a kid, May. And you're naive. And that's... And in its own stupid way, that's beautiful. But the world isn't. And the world isn't out there somewhere. It's here. Alright, are you gonna arrest me or something? Because I have a party to go to. Watch yourself, May. I'd really hate to see something happen to you. And being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all it takes. That's all I'm saying. That's ominous. Good night, May. <laughs> hey sweetie look who's home hey the parents i made tacos excuse me we made tacos 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 you want tacos I've seen the other answer. No, I'm gonna snack up at the party. Do you mean snake it up? Watch out for snakes, honey. Guys, there's gonna be fire and people. Snakes will be running in terror. Snakes don't run, kitten. Can you imagine snakes with legs? Huh. <laughs> Those are lizards, mom. Watch out for lizards, then. They'll get ya. Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. I should probably make sure I don't look like a cave beast. No sleep. Party time. Gotta get ready. Looking all right. God, this shirt actually really accentuates my roundness, doesn't it? I have the worst face. I have a nightmare face. Jeez, what a mess. My big dumb eyes, my nightmare eyes, my messed up ear, my nightmare ear. Big dumb eyes, my nightmare eyes. Nightmare eyes would be an excellent horror movie name. You'll see the nightmare outside, outside your window. And you'll know. You can do this. People like you. People don't like you clearly. You don't like people clearly. <laughs> Just because that online test said that your best chance of being happy is a situation where everyone already likes you, but they mostly leave you alone, except when they're delivering food to you, that doesn't mean you can hide in your room and what the for and wait for that to happen. That's how hermits are made, May, and they die alone in the middle of winter, waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to see. Who cares if Cole's there? Jerk. He's probably up at school or whatever. Problem is a mistake in like ten different ways. So something I want to actually pause and highlight here. Did you notice how those choices weren't really choices? They both, they all, you know, both options on the previous two choices were all kind of rephrased ways of saying the same thing. Well, we, one of the things we talk about in narrative game studies and ludonarratology for the fancy word is choice and the illusion of choice. And this game definitely is a game about the illusion of choice. So keep an eye out for choices that don't really seem like choices or choices that really do seem to matter just a little hint he's probably up at school or whatever taking classes being all successful probably doesn't even think about me which is good because i honestly don't care but i hope to god who is listening to any god who is listening that he isn't there please whatever god make sure cole isn't there tonight this is a disaster all right what are you gonna say you're a smooth talker. You're a smoothie. Hi, I'm May. How's it going? Oh, hey, I'm May. What's your name? Hi, I'm May. I dropped out of college earlier this week. Really? That's fascinating. 
That's so true. Well, see you later. Okay, good. That sounds normal. No one can prove you're not normal. And really, everyone looks normal in the dark. I'm pretty sure that's the only way sex works. This is hopeless. <laughs> Wheel me out for the curb for garbage day. Oh, geez, they'll be here any minute. Good luck, kid. I don't need luck. I make my own luck with a luck machine. I love May. <laughs> She's so preciously dumb. Hey, May, I think Cole might be there tonight. Yeah, I know. Geez, sorry. I don't care if he's there. He might not be. Well, let's hope so or not. I don't even know what we're talking about. May and Cole went out in junior year. Yeah, it didn't work out. So let's stop talking about it. Let's. Ugh. That was awful. I hate beer. Can't remember the last time I drank beer. It's not a delicious drink at all. I don't know if I should have another drink right now. What? Nothing? Cool party. Yep. Well, who are you talking to? Not you. I love the lighting of this scene so much. Oh god, it's... I won't make a joke about the guitar guy. Everyone who knows much about this game knows the guitar guy joke from Jacksepticeye. Go watch that if you want a joke about the guitar guy. Although I'll throw on my own little spin. Wonderwall! <clears throat> hey dudes. Yo, did you see Cole's here? Oh God. Vietnam War flashbacks. You okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gonna talk to him? No. Yeah, sure. No. Probably a good idea. I mean, if you you did write that song. What was it called? Go get dead, Angel Face. Oh. <laughs> we don't talk about go get dead, Angel Face. Uh, he's just standing there like it's no big deal. That jerk. Totally. You know what? I'm not gonna stand by. Let him stand by while my night gets ruined. Yeah! I'm gonna go over there and talk to Cole. Ruin your own everything. If anyone's gonna ruin your night, May, it should be, really be you. Thanks, guys. Do you guys believe that dude is playing guitar? Yep, playing the douchebag hits. I like this song. Is this a douchebag song? No, don't worry about it, big guy. There's a, there's a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back in school, you'd always have some frat boy hanging out in the lawn, trying to look all sensitive. Why is this a douchebag song? Stare through his skull. Oh god, it's... Maybe I need another drink. <sighs> I guess beer is just one of those horrible things adults do. Like taxes and having babies. I don't know if I should have another drink right now. Yo. What? You're kind of grouchy. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Rude. Rude. How long are you planning on staying? May, we just got here like 10 minutes ago. Oh, are you, how many beers have you had? Two. Pace it out, May, you're tiny. Ugh. Problem? Sometimes I think I just don't like people. Yeah, man, F the world. Yeah, F it. God, someone really should just F the world already. The world's gone un -effed for too long. F and right. Did you guys hear something? Like what? 
Something in the woods over there? Oh yeah, two people are making out on the rock behind us. That can't be very comfortable. Who needs comfort when you have makeouts? I need comfort instead of makeouts. But preferably you have both. It ain't a perfect world, Angus. They really are going at it up there. They sure are. You guys wanna, I don't know, <laughs> make out a little bit? Stand somewhere else? Nah, dude. Why should we move? They're the indecent ones. We're gentlemen. I'm starting to feel those two beers. I'm really mixing my voices, too. Yeah, I don't really drink much. I've only had one beer before. <laughs> yeah, and you spit it out. Man, if you don't drink, you really should be careful. Nah, man, I'm cool. Okay, well, keep an eye out for you. We'll watch you like hawks. Chaperone hawks. Thanks, dudes. Yep, they're still making out. Continue to stare at the back of his skull. Burn out his brain. Hey, May, is that you? Wow, how are you? I'm, hi, I'm May, how's it going? I just asked you that. I mean, I'm fine. Just visiting for the weekend. Really, that's fascinating, I guess. I think that's the first time in a while anyone's called my life fascinating. That's so true. Well, see you later. Okay. The hell is your problem? What? Be cool, May. Go get a drink and be cool. Screw it. I'm doing two beers. I'm doing beer. Okay. What? Nothing. Hey, B. Yeah? Oh, God. You're drunk. Already? That's why we came out here, right? Not really. I have to drive. Even if I didn't. Well, I don't have my license. So, woo for me. Hey, B. What? Who is that? Remember May Borowski? Oh, God. May, you're drunk. You need to go chill by the fire. I'm going to go run naked in the woods. Go sit now. Oh, I didn't mean to progress that. Hey, May. Hey, Colio. Wow, I haven't heard that in forever. It's been like three years. That's not long at all. Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple days from school and shut up already. What? I was like so worried you were gonna be here. Oh, I prayed to whatever God. What? I figured someone would listen, but no, because here you are. The girl at the video store is all like, ooh, ooh, cute boys. And you're a cute boy, Cole. Oh, thanks, May. I... But I hate cute people. Cute is the worst. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. And it's not my fault that I'm a total trash fire. I got nightmare eyes. And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window. And then I stab you with my knife. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Boom, dead. When the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. New nickname. So don't F with me, kid. F the world. Oh, May, you're threatening people now. May, I think you need to F college. Yeah. All those rich kids and hot people all writing sex and having papers with each other. Close enough. And that damn statue pointing at me every day supposed to be the founder but just shapes i i'm a total trash mammal and nothing is ever going to work out we never had a chance here but i can't go anywhere else i'm home again and i can do something besides sleep and cry alone <clears throat> because things aren't just things here you know oh god 
I'm so sick to death. Does that make sense, Colio? May, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I think you're a really great home again. Woo! <laughs> If you puke in this car, so help me. I owe an apology, B. I really am quite embarrassed. I owe you an apology, B. I'm sorry. I don't even know what happened. Uh, you got sloppy ass drunk after what? Three cups of watered down beer? We used to be best friends. I remember when we used to hang out as kids. We used to be best friends, B. And I still love you, B. I didn't get a word of that. Remember you used to call me Mayday, and I called you BB? Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. Remember when we were scouts together? We caught that turtle? Yeah, Boxy the turtle, he died. Why are you so mean to me? I feel like you're mad at me all the time. Why? Why are you so mad at me all the time? Erp. Oh man, if I puke in here, your parents are gonna be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm sorry. Is she okay? She's so nice. God damn it, May. What? My mother is dead. What? She died of cancer. Senior year. Oh no, she was so nice. BB, are you okay? How do you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mom? It's her last name. Marie B, I'm so sorry. I'm mortified by my behavior. I am sorry. Oh, B, I'm acting like a jerk. Are you mad at me? What happened to you? You used to be smart. You used to be cool. You used to be worth talking to. Why did you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant I could go to college. <laughs> We're here. Get the hell out of my car. <laughs> oh god, let me help you in. There you go. I'm sorry, B. I'm a mess. You know, whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you. Two months. Yeah, well. I stayed here and got older. Well, you went off and stayed the same. <sighs> Good night, Mayday. Well, I'm running out of time, so we're going to end it on a uh, on a, on an interesting note. Thanks for watching. Please leave your discussions. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're seeing. I think there's a lot to unpack in that scene, so feel free to get to it. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful time. Feel free to like, subscribe, uh, leave comments. But whatever you do, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye!